So here we have one of our demo stores, and you can find this in our GitHub along with the Vue.js boilerplate for this store if you want to build your own. This store took one of our junior developers just a day and a half to build. So here we have a micro e-commerce site that would be used by a clothing brand for a campaign. And for this campaign, we have an Instagram influencer who's selling a look and its related products on behalf of a brand. It's got a unique product display, a really custom cart and checkout. And so in this example, the influencer is able to sell products via their own storefront on behalf of a brand. They're driving traffic to this site and selling in a way that resonates with their audience. Now let's look at a live implementation of this being used by a real business. Bloom is a direct-to-consumer self-care brand, and they currently run their business on Shopify, but they wanted more control over how they engage with their audience, specifically around how they engage with the audience at the checkout. So using Commerce.js, they created a single-page checkout experience, and this is a product catalog and checkout rolled into one single page. I guess you could call this a funnel-based micro-checkout experience and that it takes Bloom customers from an Instagram ad or an email campaign to this one page to purchase in just a few clicks. Now the checkout is on brand, you've probably never seen anything like this before. It's high converting and it's synced up to their Shopify backend. So when customers make orders here, the orders are then seen in the Shopify dashboard. Now the checkout is using Google Places for order complete, Stripe is handling payment, in Commerce.js is taking care of the discounts, the product assets, the product descriptions and prices. And all of this can be updated via our own dashboard if Bloom wants to change this for another campaign or a different set of products.